Terry started out as a high school three sports star. I mean, he did it all. And after high school, he went to Worcester University and played baseball. He was a left-handed pitcher and was picked up by Montreal and played four years in their farm club. From that, I think that's where he picked up the competitive spirit. He enjoyed the competition. He enjoyed winning a lot. Uh, he tells me he got homesick and he came back home. He went to work. He worked for a hand camera. They had a rock quarry. He ran a rock quarry for him. And from, from that, learned the asphalt business. Then he ran into Bob Douglas, and they formed a, an asphalt company. Terry uh, brought his business up the old-fashioned way. Um, he would get up at 4.30 in the morning and be at work at 5.30 to check the weather, line out the crews, and fire up the asphalt plant. And from that, today there are three asphalt plants and four rock quarries. And he just, he did it the old fashioned way. He did it from scratch. He started with nothing and built it up. He constantly strove to deliver product on time and treated everybody very well. Everybody he dealt with knew that Terry Bettis was honest. His product may be a little higher, but you get what you pay for. As with many people in the construction business, they feel like they take enough risk every day that they don't want to take significantly more or as much in their investments. His primary investments were certificate of deposits. You know, very little interest. Two or three percent while the stock market's going 10, 15 percent a year and the stock market plummeted like a dead duck. And I wonder if Terry really had the correct philosophy because his philosophy was, I'm not so worried about the return on my money as I am worried about the return of my money. It was a family business. I'm talking about Terry, his family, his brothers, Dwayne and Kim, uh, his you know, sister, they're all actively involved. My mom has been my dad's biggest fan. She was by his side the whole time, you know, and when he would get off work, he was headed to somebody's ball game or practice. In my personal opinion, one of the best things he passed on to the kids, they understand his values of hard work, sweat the details, and get things done. Done right and done on time. He was a role model growing up that I aspired to be like. He was committed to doing his very best. He never really allowed himself to uh, step away and enjoy the success that he worked so hard to build. He just has a way about him of, uh, you know, a high level of integrity and character and, you know, I mean, he's not flashy, but respects, you know, the customer, you know, his friends and, and anybody that he's really dealt with. He said one of the main things that really kept him driven and focused after doing what he's been doing for over 30 years is the uh, um, challenge and competition of bidding and building projects from one year to the next. He was competitive, but some people can rub people the wrong ways when they're competitive, but that really was something that made him shine. He played basketball every day at noon at the YMCA. His nickname is Commissioner because there'd be about 20 of us and we'd show up now at the YMCA at lunchtime and Terry would take charge and divide up the teams and uh, except he always selected Bob Chipman on his team. Terry was competitive, Terry didn't like losing, and he didn't lose many basketball games. He, he thought every business needed competition. Uh, his philosophy was it made your business better, it made you work harder, and it made you do a better job. Through his adult age, he continued to be involved in the community with athletics, you know, out at SCABA. He helped start the Capital City basketball. Terry has always participated in coaching uh, young kids' athletic teams. One of the other things he did is he funded them. Terry would always step up and fund those athletic teams. It is important for my dad to provide a place in the community for young athletes to play ball in a positive atmosphere. One thing, the Bettis family, including Dwayne and Kim, his brothers, and Karen, and his dad, George, had done a lot with the baseball out of Lake Shawnee. And they were a major contributor 
when they uh, redid that uh, facility. So it's now named the Bettis Family Sports Complex. Uh, giving of his time and his money, but, but the community never knew that because Terry, being the modest person he was, didn't want people to know. He didn't look for the limelight. He just saw something that needed done and then got it done.